collection from new uh, fancy pen designs uh, release is this pretty Magnolia Moment collection by Rini Looney. Rini Looney, sorry again, <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounce it well. And this collection is more about home, heart of the home. It has those darker colors, uh, not so colorful as the, as the previous collection, but it has just the perfect embellishment. I will show you them uh, in a minute. I just want to tell you that a uh, thing that I love in uh, Fancy Pan is that every collection has its own embellishments and they are usually very unique, not like every other collection uh, has. So we have those that uh, they I don't think they have ever been in any other collection. Uh, you will see in a moment what I'm talking about. Let's start with the papers. We have six double-sided papers, which gives us 12 uh, patterns, and you can see them all here. Uh, size A is more uh, colorful with uh, some uh, flowers, and size B is more, um, more uh, like a background paper. And this one is called At First Blush. At First Blush, and it has a pink background with... Uh, Magnolia flowers, I would assume calling that the collection is called Magnolia Moments. And the B side of this paper uh, is this uh, brick wall in white gray shade. Um, another paper from this collection is called, oh, I'm not sure how should I put it, <laughs> it's called Our Story and it has stripes four stripes of pattern papers. We have lace, honeycomb, uh, we have flowers. And the B side of this paper is just black with some uh, lighter gray stripes. Um, another paper is called Home Sweet Home. And this is the navy, very dark navy papers with houses. And you can easily fussy cut them because they have simple shapes and use them on uh, the project like ephemera pieces. Um, and another paper called, uh, no, it's the B-side from Home Sweet Home. It's a wood pattern and you can never have too much of wooden patterns. And I love using them in my projects. Uh, Heart and Home paper. And this looks like uh, Dutch tiles, I would say. Um, very fun pattern. Quite busy, but you can easily calm it down, adding some elements here. And the B-side of this paper is this uh, black paper with a heart and home, heart and home inscriptions. And they look like they are drawn with a chalk. And another paper from uh, this collection is called Magnolia Moments. And it has this mint, dirty mint kind of a background with flowers uh, layered one on, one on uh, another. And I am sure I will be able to fussy cut some of the flowers from this paper because fussy cutting is something I really like. And the B side of this paper is this white paper with very dark green um, stripes. They are not black, they are very dark green. So you can see the difference between the colors here. Now you can't see, but I, I, I promise you there is the difference. And the last paper from this collection is called uh, picture perfect and this is the white creamy white paper with uh, frames you can fill them with uh, pictures maybe they are quite small I'm not sure what I will do with with this paper but I really like the idea of the frames hanging on the wall maybe I will fast cut the frames and add uh, pictures in the frames with bigger frames I'm not sure and the B side of the of this paper is this I don't know, dirty, pinkish, I don't know the name of the color in English, but it has the roses uh, under it. It looks like, uh, you know, this wallpaper. I don't know if it's a good word, but uh, it looks like this. So here are all the papers and the patterns in this collection. It's quite dark. I think it will be also perfect for fall uh, fall team layouts so those are the papers we also have 
six by six paper pad for this collection. Two shades of age of 12 designs, which gives us 24 papers in this uh, paper pad. We have alphabet. This is kind of a puffy alphabet, a puffy letter ball, ball letter board alpha, and we have, I think, three sheets of uh, those alphabets because the letters are quite big. So we have uh, letters, we also have numbers, and some, uh, you know, you know what, but I do not know how to say it in English, you know, 80 um, process, um, okay, I will not <laughs> say anything more because I can uh, just make you laugh uh, with my English. And this is, uh, this is the sticker strips. Um, and we only have this one side, so there is nothing more than what you see right now. And they are basically just stickers. I'm not sure if they are 12 by 12 size. Let me take it out. I will measure it. No, they are smaller. They are not 12 by 12. And they are also not that big. So as you can see with this, maybe this I will show you here. So if you tear the sticker, you will have this offset left and you can easily use this, just cut it out with the scissors and use it as a second type of an embellishment. They have different uh, sizes and this is the lace and it also has the shape of the lace, as you can see, uh, it's not too uh, straight lines. We also have um, this, I will start with the bigger elements. Chipboard spools and slices, uh, and I love those six here. They look like uh, slices of wood with the chalk, uh, chalky inscriptions over them, and they like those like uh, like looks like a spool. So you can easily take out this inner piece, and I'm not sure. Yes, they are stickers, so. You can glue them down uh, just right they are like they are without adding uh, your own glue and they easily come out so if you don't like storing them like this which is something i do not like i will just press them off and put them into my uh, ephemera bag and i can easily use them to not forget about them and we have these, they are called letterboard embellishment and we have three of them in this collection. The bigger one with the love and two smaller ones with high and XO. They look awesome. I am not sure what I will do with them to be uh, honest because um, I never used elements like that. So we have a wooden uh, kind of a embroid embroidery hoop. We have this black part and it's a fabric. It's a fabric, it's soft and it looks like a letter board. And we have plastic letters. Uh, they are not puffy, they are plastic and they really look like uh, from the letter board uh, letters. And all the three are exactly the same. So we have three of them. Um, and we also have letterboard sentiments so here are all the sentiments you can find uh, here um i will open this this is something i am not sure if i will use often um maybe for some card you know inside the card uh, more like uh, good wishes or something like that uh, I will definitely use the smaller elements, but the bigger one are just not something I uh, often use on my pages. Life grows best in little houses with fewer walls to separate. If we had more room between us, think of all we would miss. Uh, love grows best in houses just like this. Home, the collection of who we are and what we love. So we have some fun qu quotations about home and family. And we have different uh, orientations, so they are horizontal and diagonal. And we have bigger elements and smaller elements uh, in this collection. Uh, it's good to be home, and this look like a letterboard. 
Uh, this also looks like a letter board. They all look like a letter board. Sorry, this is something I should know because the, um, they are called letter board sentiments, but I don't have one uh, at home. I never used one. Uh, you are my happy. So this one we can use as a title of the page. Sometimes home is a hard. Sometimes home has a heartbeat. And we have plenty of smaller elements. Together is my favorite place to be. I love you to the moon and back. Live, love, love. Uh, home sweet home. The little things in life are really the biggest things. Uh, so this one are just perfect for, uh, for, for the um, titles of the layouts. Maybe for the card. For someone you would like to... Um, Welcome in the neighborhood, uh, someone who is starting a new family. Uh, I am not sure yet. I haven't thought about this. I will have to uh, think what I can do with those elements. So as you can see, there are plenty of them and they are all different, I think. No, they are two the same, but I am not sure. Maybe just this is just a coincidence. No, they are... No, yes, they are this is just a coincidence, I think. No, they should be two of them, but uh, all the others are not the same, I think. So we have letterboard sentiments. Okay, I will put it aside and I will hide it later. And the last thing, as always, my favorite uh, are the ephemera pieces. And we have a lot of them here. We have flowers. We have kind of a fence. We have telephone, a flower bouquet, flower um, numbers, like uh, tags on the boxes maybe. Another letter board, kind of a st uh, kind of a phrase. Home is where your story begins. This is, I would say, maybe a bench or not. Flowers in the jar. Flower composition. Happily ever after. So it would be a perfect for a um, wedding. Uh, precious, blessed. Another fence. Uh, basket and uh, more flowers. Flowers in the pot, uh, frame, and another, and another, uh, maybe this is a shelf, maybe, it looks more, more like a shelf than a bench, sorry, and this is a flower wreath, and we have uh, doors, we have um, those, you know, trees in the pot, <laughs> sorry. Uh, this element, and more uh, floral elements, books, and uh, you use on the camping, the light from the camping maybe, or from the yard, love you, home sweet home, this is um, fun, I'm missing a word, sorry, um, remember, photograph, moments matters, another tree, and we have a clock, another row of uh, numbers, uh, flowers, gather, welcome, love lives here, family, um, butterfly, some smaller elements, flower cluster, uh, more books, uh, bird, another cute little bird, plant in the pot, um, some floral elements, another frame, Maybe I will put them here, this also can be used like a frame, um, and more flowers and some smaller elements, uh, and the key. So those are all the pieces that are included into the ephemera pack, and this is everything. Uh, that was included in Magnolia Moments collection. Um, I will be honest, this is not my, uh, you know, 
first pick kind of a collection because I love colorful collections, more summery, but I really feel inspired by all the elements here and I am hoping to dive into maybe some fall uh, pictures, maybe some family moments, just, you know, the ordinary moments. We don't scrap a lot. I don't scrap a lot. Maybe you scrap them because I usually use some travel uh, theme pictures and uh, portraits of my daughters. Mm, and I really need to scrap some ordinary everyday, everyday life moments. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see some inspirations uh, from Fancy Pan Design Team, check the links below. There will be also a link uh, added to purchase the collection in, um, in scrapbook.com shop. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.